Hello everyone, GameDog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Reborn. We're going to smash some more rocks. Alright, so I'm assuming that one of these is going to release the lava, and the other two are going to have a... Uh, that Makar goes. I almost called it a heat morph for whatever reason. Man, I'm really bummed out we killed that guy in the last episode. But regardless, uh, let's see, we'll just continue to do this, actually. You know, I could potentially give, um... Oh, the heat softened that attack. That might still kill him one hit anyway. Yeah, there we go. I mean, that, that attack is very strong. Well, not very strong, but, like, he does take quadruple damage from it. You know, I think if I even do find the, um, the correct one here... Yeah, I, I think I'll still go ahead and fight the third one, just because I really want to be able to, um... Yeah, I, I really want to, uh... Oh, that was a weird zoom in right there. I, I just want to get as much experience on these guys as possible, especially for the next boss coming up, because, my goodness, alright, um... Because there's this one thing I learned about this game is that the bosses are the most ridiculous thing of all freaking time. So we'll go ahead and do that. There we go. So that's my cargo out of the way. Alright, good. So let's continue to search this area out a little bit more now that we finally figured that out. Uh, we have not searched... Oh, uh, another encounter. Um, we have not quite... So oh, wow. You can actually find these guys here too. That's kind of neat, actually. You know, I, I find it kind of weird that... Um, you guys know how, like, Zubats are the Pokemon you find all the freaking time in caves? In this game, it's like Noibats for whatever reason. Uh, that's gonna... Doesn't that lead back to the beginning of the area? You know what? It, it's not, it doesn't take that long to get run back. Actually, I want to go out and heal real quick, just because um, my two MVPs are actually... I've been using that word a lot, or this, for that phrase a lot in this playthrough, but just because my two best Pokemon in this area have been taking quite a little bit of damage... Um, that and, uh, Tron is, is probably very low on PP for, uh, for Water Pulse regardless. Yeah, let's just go back and heal up real quick. Um, did you guys see that? For, like, one frame, I was on top of that, um, on top of that little, like, uh, bridge thing right there. That looked a little bit odd, actually. Wait a second, I want to try to recreate that, because that looked very glitchy. Um, yeah, did you guys see that? Oh my goodness, on, like, for, like, one frame, I'm actually running on top of it. That looks very odd. <laughs> Ah, uh, there we go. Okay, so, well, you know what, with how big of a game this is, I can always expect, like, a little graphical glitch, uh, or gra graphical hiccup here and there. I mean, it's not really the most, ex uh, it's not really the most detrimental thing of all time. It it's just odd. <laughs> Alright, let's just move on right here. Uh, yeah, I was right. This is the beginning of the area. Alright, let's continue to run up this way. So, there was a lava pool, um, that I needed to drain. I'm assuming that's what, um, what that, like, triple Macargo area just did. Um, no, it didn't? Wait a second. Oh, do I have to do the whole thing over again? That's really bad if that is the case. Uh-oh. Um, yeah, because I remember that area uh, being drained beforehand very distinctly. I remember actually running over that. Let's see. We're going to send Tron back out. Uh, deal with the superheat field again. Let's see. Um, okay, please tell me don't do the whole thing over again. Actually, wait a second. That can't be the case because, um, yeah, we have those right there. Wait, I got to check over here. Did those respawn? Please don't respawn. They respawn. That's awful, actually. I don't like that at all. <laughs> so I pretty much have to do this all in one go. That's difficult, actually, especially given that um, that there's a, that there's potentially a boss this area as well. Who knows? Maybe there could be a way to... Oh, you know what there might actually be? There might be one of those, like, golden shurikens um, for the boss as well. Okay, well, the only way we can actually go for now is de back down this way. So let's actually see... Oh, I wonder if the um, if the, uh, if the heat more will respawn as well. I'm going to try to catch him if, uh, if that is the case. Like, who knows, I could always use another fire type, especially for some of the later areas in this in this place. I mean, who knows, the more the merrier when it comes to a game like this anyway, so let's just continue doing that. Um, I, I might as well check this out. Oh, and I actually did, um, no, of, of all things to not respond, you don't respond to heat more, that's kind of odd. I, uh, I looked back on the last episode real quick, apparently I misread something. Um, the, he wasn't attracted to the Pokédex, he was a, attracted to the Poké Snacks I had. Uh, which pretty much means that, yeah, we're gonna have to do this over again, which pretty much means that, um, so I'm assuming that's what the Pokesnacks do. Like, occasionally when you run by a Pokemon, oh, it's, a uh, Torkoal this time. Um, so occasionally when you run by, um, uh, Water Pulse, so occasionally whenever you run by, um, by Pokemon like that, I'm assuming maybe if you have Pokesnacks on your person at the time, they'll be, uh, attracted to you and want to battle you for, uh, for a potential, um, uh, for being able to potentially join your team. That's kind of neat, actually. So with that in mind, I think I will try to go out of my way to... Oh my goodness, this guy's using Protect. With that in mind, I think I will try to go out of my way to um, to collect more of those things uh, at this point. I mean, I think you can just buy them, so I might go back uh, the next time I have a chance and actually just do that. Good, so Tron's going to get a little bit of experience off of that. Uh, let's see here. This is very annoying having to do this whole thing over again, actually. Let's see. Um, please let this be like the Chokehold. Uh, let's see. So that's going to smash that rock right there. No. Wait a second, weren't one of those like a chokehold beforehand? Oh, I just thought of something. Maybe they're randomized every time I come in here. Oh, if that's the case, then this is going to be a, a really good grinding spot for Tron and um, Extreme Heat destroyed the attack. That's probably still going to one-shot him. It didn't one-shot him? That looked like it should have, actually. Let's see, that's going to superheat the field. Um, Yeah, that's going to do that. You know what? I just thought of something. 
What if I catch this thing? We have not caught a Pokemon in quite some time. I think I might try that, actually. Um, let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, let's use an Ultra Ball. Yo, this is interesting. I, I, I only got, I can't remember the last time I've ever, I've ever used a Macargo in a game like this. Um, and I could potentially use him. That and I do believe I get experience for it anyway, so I might as well. I mean, <laughs> yeah, so there we go. The shell on its back is made of hardened magma. Tens of thousands of years spent living in the volcano create, create, craters have turned the Macargo's bodies into magma. That's kind of crazy, actually. I will not give a nickname to him for the, for the, for the time being. We might at some point, though. Uh, let's see. I kind of want to heal up Tron, actually. Do I have, um, what, what do I have? Oh, wait, I have, um, I'll use one of the chocolate ice cream, ice cream, actually, even though it, it like, literally should melt while I'm in here. <laughs> the description actually does say eat it before it melts, but I don't think it ever does, which is kind of crazy. Okay, so if those things are, in fact, randomized, I'm gonna have to go back and, uh, and redo that, uh, that, like, trio of, uh, of pillars that had, like, yeah, the, the Macargos the first time I came in here. Let's see, let's, let's just run from this guy for the time being. Uh, let's head back this way and uh, see if we can actually try to just destroy these things real quick. I really hope I didn't accidentally lock myself out by doing this. Um, I don't think I did. I would not expect a game to lock you into that kind of a situation. Yeah, so we got a Makarga right here. He's level 35. For some reason, um, Water Pulse didn't one-shot this guy beforehand. It should this time, though. Actually, wait a second. Yeah, the Extreme Heat is softening the attack. That's kind of uh, detrimental. That's not killing him for some reason. It did in the last episode. That's very odd. Well, that's going to combust the field, um, if pot. Yeah, that's going to combust the field. I mean, I'm going to be taking gradual damage now. I don't think Macargo uh, learns uh, Protect naturally, so, yeah, I'm just going to be able to just destroy him that way. When Tron levels up, I think I'm going to switch back to the FJK mole, just because he, too, is a really good matchup against these guys. Yeah, so we'll use Rock Smash. Uh, that's going to be, uh, okay, that's another Macargo right there. That or possibly a Torkoal. Nope, Macargo. Okay, that's, I actually kind of prefer fighting Macargo. Uh, just because Macargo is the absolute slowest Pokemon of all time. <laughs> Actually, thinking about it, I think Macargo is, like, one of the slowest Pokemon out there. Oh, good. Yeah, I one-shot him that time. Oh, must be some, like, mid-maxing damage. Okay, so Tron's level 38 now. That is solid, actually. Let's, um, let's switch out to, uh, the FJ Kmol. Oh, not, not check his, uh, not check his stats. He does all the freaking time anyway. Okay, switch you with, uh, with you. There we go. That's pretty nice right there. Uh, let's see. Okay, oh, um, we have another encounter right here. Uh, these really are a little bit annoying, but let's see. Let's just run from this guy. Yeah, super hate field as well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, this has to be the chokehold. <laughs> Worst case scenario, I just wasted my time. Yeah, so they are randomized. That's a... Wait, what? Wait, what happened there? That looked a bit odd, actually. I didn't actually catch that, but let's see if we can head back. I, I'm curious as to if um, as to if the lava, the lava reset. The lava reset itself? What on earth kind of puzzle is this? Um... Well, we're learning things here, uh, that's for sure. Let's see. Um, so apparently, like, one out of occasional... Occasionally, when um, when you do that, it'll actually... Oh, wait a second. Oh, a shiny Slugma. That's kind of neat, actually. Um, unfortunately, though, I yeah, I already have him a cargo. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really too... Yeah, we'll just run from him. Um, the, the shiny rate is, is higher in this game, anyway, so I'm not really too picky about that. That's kind of neat that I ran into that guy, actually. Yeah, so we got another Macarga right here. You know, is it just me, or is it easier to find Macarga than it is to find Slugmas? That's kind of rare, actually. That, 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 doesn't really, that doesn't really happen that often in these kinds of games. Alright, so let's, um... Yeah, so that reset this time. What on earth is this magma puzzle? This is very interesting. You know, maybe, um, resetting... Uh, maybe, like, hitting the magma at the very top actually resets the whole dungeon or something. I don't know why you would ever want to do that, but it is certainly interesting if that is the case. Yeah, it does reset them all. That's kind of awful, actually. I don't really like that. Yes, yeah, so that's going to uh, the drain the lava. Act. Wait, what? Wait, that didn't. Um, wait, what happens if I smash the full the thing here? Actually, oh wait a second. I think I figured something out. I think I finally figured it out. So I okay. I I, I have to. I have to. I think I'll just run from these guys from now on. But let me see if I. Yeah. Okay, I think I figured something out, actually. So, apparently, if you, uh, smash a rock on a level where there is lava, it'll reset the lava for that level. That makes a lot of sense, actually. Oh, man, how am I supposed to, uh, to drain the lava outside of that, then, unless I just randomly guess? That's kind of awful. I don't really like this dungeon right now. <laughs> uh, this is super annoying. So, yeah, that should drain the lava. Uh, let's see. And then, uh, let's see. If I, so, if I smash this, is this gonna reset the lava on this floor? I'm doing this for experimental purposes. Um, let's see, that's going to destroy that right there. Okay, this Numel is, uh, probably gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna run from this Numel. I don't really need to deal with him that often. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and do that. Okay, let's see if this, uh, this resets it. No, it doesn't that time. What on earth is this puzzle? This is very interesting. Alright, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do this. Uh, we got a Macargo right here. We're gonna run from him. Yeah, I think we're just gonna run from most encounters here, just because I really don't want my characters to be actually thinking about it. They probably won't get too overleveled. Um, I just don't really want them getting all the experience of the time being. 
let's see. So we got the FJ Camo coming in here. You know, thinking about it, given how many Gravelers have been fighting, maybe um, using uh, yeah, maybe uh, bringing Castle Boss may have actually been a good idea. Actually, wait a second. Down here is where the Heat More was. I don't really want to come back down this way. Okay, so yeah, we'll just go ahead and do that. We're going to superheat the field. Uh, we're going to run away from that, though. We don't really want to deal with the superheated field. Oh my goodness, all these encounters. I don't think I've ever encountered cows as badly in quite some time. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, we'll just run from these guys. Actually, do I have a repel? You guys know I don't often use repels in this game, but I'm actually curious if I do have one, because if I do, I think I'll use it. Um, let's see, that's uh, Max Revive. Uh, Poke Snacks. I still have some Poke Snacks left, so that's kind of good. Let's see, maybe it's in this folder, actually. Do I have a repel? I don't think I... Oh, wait a second, I have a super repel. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. There we go, so now we shouldn't be... Nope, okay, so it has to be in this direction, then. Let's see if we can go back up and see if um, the lava has drained from uh, from hitting one of those things. Because uh, you do have to drain it from the level below it, um, if I do recall correctly. Yes, that drained the lava this time. Okay, I'm not really sure if I like this dungeon so far. It looks very simple at first, but now it automatically feels like it's very randomized, and I'm not sure if I like that or not. Or wait a second, does draining the lava on one floor drain on all the floors? Like honestly, this is a very bizarre dungeon. So we'll keep going up this way. I can move that. I cannot move that rock. But then again, looking at it, it doesn't really look like I need to. Um, and oh wait a second, we have um, repels effect wore off. We won't use another for the time being. We, that was that was good. We actually got through a lot of that dungeon right there. Uh, we have the summit. Oh, that looks really cool actually. That is some cool parallax scrolling right there. Oh good. Okay, my I was right in my hunch as well. There is a golden shuriken here. Um, let's go ahead and save real quick. Actually, wait a second. There we go. I wanted to make sure it was actually, in fact, recorded before I, uh, before I did this, because I've actually fallen into that trap before. Okay, so we'll reset all, all our, yeah, we'll set our health here. There we go. So that's the golden shuriken. Let's go up here, and this must be him. Okay, good. So, uh, let, let me see who I want to start out with. We just saved, so we can get a bit experimental here. And knowing the bosses in this game, I kind of want to, I kind of want to. Let's start with Marshmallow. I, I, I just kind of want to try this. I highly doubt he'll have a chandelier. It doesn't really seem like the kind of guy who would. Hi. Can I help you? Oh, Kiki's sitting here too. To battle me? I haven't I haven't had a serious battle since I re resigned as, as gym leader. And even then, I was misguided. I had let anger drive and control me. That's why I came here, to learn to let go of the rage I felt towards my brother. Everyone I... Yeah, everything I've done uh, was just to try and prove myself better than him. And then... You're challenging the Reborg League now, correct? Have you met Have you met the leader named Shelly? So you have. How is she? Timid, right. That might have been my fault. I used to keep her around, watch over her. She and I connected on some level. We were we were both always sc yeah, scorned by our brothers and our families. Blake, he always got our, that got the attention. He got all the praise from everyone, and then anything I ever did was just slop was just a sloppy second. Back then I was too full of rage to see that he was the source of my anger, but Shelly understood. Only she didn't understand, and one day she said something, and I, re and I reacted horribly, and I regret hurting her more than anything else. And yet because of it, I was finally able to change. Look at me, just rambling on. Sorry, I suppose I've been, I've been assigned to meditate alone for days on end. It has, uh, has an effect on people. I can see clearly now, but the source of my uh, energy is exhausted. Formerly raged now. Now perhaps I'll stop talking and give you the battle you came for. And perhaps I'll find my new center in, uh, yeah, my new center in doing so. Alright, so we're going to fight this guy right here. Cal. Ex-leader Cal would like to battle. Okay, he starts with Infernape. This is actually a fairly good matchup, actually. Um, I could go for Gust, but it's not the most powerful attack out there. I think I'll just go for Shadow Ball for the time being. He's going to go for Swords Band. Yes, Swords Dance. That is actually very dangerous. Oh, he's the exact same level I am as well. I get to be very careful around this guy. Okay, oh, and he has a super heated field as well. Okay, okay, okay. We're going to have to watch out here. Um, I don't have, uh, let's see, okay, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna use an Ultra Potion. Uh, yeah, I think he's gonna defeat me, actually, or at the very least defeat Marshmallow. Uh, just cause, uh, yeah, he's gonna go for Flame Wheel and just destroy me. So that's gonna superheat the field, or that's gonna get superheated by the, by the field. So that wasn't really a good, uh, that wasn't a very good, um, start right there. Uh, but then again, keep in mind the rule when, when it comes to the very first battle of every single fight here. <laughs> like, honestly, we, we can be expected to win each and every one of these, just, just cause they're really, really ridiculously strong at this point in the game. Let's go for Air Cutter. He's going for Close Combat. I resist that, but, oh my freaking goodness! Ah! <laughs> the absolute maddest right now. I hate it when my Pokemon get one shot more than anything. Okay, let's um, let's go to uh, the FJK Mall. I really don't, please don't get swapped by the very first Pokemon. That, that's that's the last thing I want to do right now. We'll go for Magnitude. I think close combat lowered your uh, defense anyway. 
There we go. That did just enough to kill you. I think it did just enough to kill you anyway. Okay, good. So, uh, next is, um, oh, level 38. Next is a Typhlosion. One of my favorite Pokemon, actually. Uh, let's see. Let's switch out to, um, let's actually leave the, um, uh, oh, man, this thing gets Energy Ball, though. Let's see. Um, he probably has it knowing this game as well. Let's go to, uh... You know, let's actually just stay in for the time being. There we go. So he has a Typhlosion. Let's go for Magnitude again. I'm expecting this thing to have Energy Ball knowing this freaking game. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's just do that. That's a solid to a kill. If I can, he's using Sunny Day. That's gonna power up all his fire moves on top of the um of the heated field. That is gonna make it so most of his attacks will most likely be able to one shot me, which is ridiculous, especially since how especially because of uh, how Glass Candy the FJ Camel is. Okay, next is a Magmotar, another one of my favorite Pokemon. Actually, I really like this guy a lot. Okay, we really got to be careful around this field. I kind of want to use Mud Slap. Uh, I'll go for Magnitude, though. This seems to be working quite well for now. <gasps> Magnitude 10! Oh, I couldn't have asked for a better one right there. I want to say nothing less could have one-shot this guy, actually. Oh, man, if the FJ Camel destroys this guy's whole team, that would be ridiculous. Next is a Delphox, a Pokemon I know quite well, actually. Uh, we'll switch out to Spear, just because I really want to... I, I don't know why. I really want to uh, to reserve the FJ Camel for the guys who, um, who are only weak to like uh, ground and like, water. Because uh, uh, you two have Shadow Ball, and I believe you're fat. No, you're not faster. The attack was super hit, and it's going to be powered up by the fields. This is probably going to one-shot her. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so. Yeah, I noticed that fire is really powerful in this game. But yeah, we'll go out to Saxon. I'm going to go for, um, let's see. I'm going to go for Sucker Punch, just because I think it's going to be one of the few things that that's going to fail. You're going to use Light Screen. Okay, that's um, that's not too big of a factor, because I want to say the last guys I have um, are... Um, yeah, I'm going to keep going for Sucker Punch, actually. That's a solid... T uh, that might be a three-hit kill, but I think I don't think it's going to matter here. Oh, it doesn't matter. Okay, we'll go for Crunch. Oh, he is faster. I didn't expect him to be. Okay, that's bad, actually. Okay. The sun might be gone for right now, actually, unless uh, the field powers it up in some sort of way. Or the field, um, perhaps, um, makes the sun permanent, which, uh, once again, is the kind of thing I'd, I'd expect from a ridiculous game like this. Magnitude 6 might not be enough, actually. Delphox is very defensive if you build it right. Let's see, Shy Sh Sci Shock might not... Oh, man, I think that critical actually did matter there. I think we're almost done here, actually. We just gotta get a little bit lucky with Tron, which I don't really think that's going to happen. I think we're gonna lose this, all things is here, but we did get very close the first time around. Okay, yeah, he's gonna use a, he's gonna use one of those. This is gonna get super powered down by the field and the sun, assuming that's still up. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that does barely any damage whatsoever. Let's see. Oh man, then you have a light screen up as well. Yeah, so it's gonna fade the light screen. He's he's very adamant about keeping that thing up actually, for for good reason too, because uh, I think the best case scenario or the best case scenario is, is if he were to get confused by this. Uh, let's see. Psy Shock is going to Tron is actually fairly defensive. So maybe, no, I, don't, I think I'm going to win this. I, I'm just going to see if I can stay in. Maybe try to get a confusion or something. Oh, you're going to withdraw at this point. Charizard. This might be his last Pokemon, actually. Um, and I want to say you're less defensive than, than Delphox. So I, oh, I confused him. Oh, that's awesome, actually. <laughs> Confusing your Charizard is always solid, actually. Okay, let's um, let's just continue this. You're going to hurt yourself in confusion. Oh, man, if I can continue to do this up and uh, just try to get very lucky with these uh, two attacks right here. Um, both confusion and this. Oh, critical hit. That is awesome right there. Okay, let's go for this again. Um, I probably could have gone away of setting up an, uh, a, um, oh, you're gonna hurt yourself confusion. That's awesome. We're gonna take out Charizard. We might not, we're not, probably not, we're still probably not gonna win this, but, um, we're at the very least gonna get him down to his last Pokemon, I think. Uh, cause I wanna say Delphox was his last guy. Yes, there you go. You're gonna get a lot of experience off of that. Next is the Delphox. The opponent's light screen faded. That's pretty solid. He's probably gonna spend a turn to set up. No, he's not. He's gonna send a, spend a turn to use Shadow Ball. Um, let's see. Okay, we gotta get lucky here. We have to get him to confuse himself, and then we have to... Oh, man, if he, um... Okay, guys, this is it right here. If he get, if he hurts himself in confusion, we've won this. No! Ah! Oh, that is so frustrating. We got so close there. <laughs> actually, I'm not even sure if that was his final Pokemon, but my goodness, we actually got a good ways into that in our first try. I'm actually fairly proud of that. <laughs> that was not bad for a first try against a boss in a game like this. You know what? We, we don't need the nurse's help right here. We'll just stop for sat up front. Um, and you know what? I think we'll try this, this fight again next time. So I think I'll see you guys then. Thanks for watching.